to another Hello. standing episode of Drink and Draw Happy Hour. Tonight we have a very special guest, Tim Townsend, live Woo! from uh, the greater Florida area. Yeah. Also joining yes. us, our regular attendees, Dan Panosian. Hello, everybody. Reverend Dave Johnson. Whoa. Uh, not so nice. Reverend Jeff Johnson. <laughs> and directly yeah. beneath me, the fabulous Joe Casada. Fabulous. Thank you, man. Yeah, it was like, here's a story about a bunch of drunks. <laughs> if Joe would lean over just a little further, I could tickle his ear. Mm -hmm. right, that way. Yeah. No, other way, other way. There you oh, go. Hey. <laughs> Woo. Does that mean I can shit on your head, Tim? <laughs> Again. Again. Spit on him. Spit on him. Not the first time. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so how's everyone doing this evening? This is great. <laughs> Pretty the good. This uh, is already here. Yeah. yeah. What ben are we drinking? Already today, trying to get online. We're off to a terrible start. What are we this drinking? Is... Yeah. I'm drinking Hogard. Oh. Uh, oh, the nice. king of beers. Not that uh, wait, wait, I'm wait, keeping wait. Florida with Bud Light. Uh, <laughs> smart. That's adorable. Thank you. I have a glass of sake. Very zen. Uh, of oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jeff, really? <laughs> yeah, I, I follow the beat of my own drummer. <laughs> yeah. That's not a glass. It's like a it's thimble. It's like a tumbler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Suck your head. It's a tumbler of sake. Yeah. <laughs> I think Joe's drinking coffee. No, I'm drinking water. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. 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 But I forgot to the bar to three the theme. I, I, I should have opened up a uh, PBR. Damn it. There you go. Damn wow. it. And what are you drinking, Tim? No let. Ooh, classy. A, gentle, a gentleman's nice. gin. Yeah. A gentleman's gin, no less. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very classy. Mm. Tim, yeah, how, is it, how is it that pretty looks so, so tan and healthy? And we look just sickly on this side. It's just, it's horrible. Well, it it's, a, work. <laughs> it's a it's part high blood pressure, uh -huh. part, part sun poisoning. All right, let me write that down. And part I've been drinking gin for two hours. <laughs> so yeah, that's the diet I can get. Behind. I may actually die on camera. Really? Oh, yeah. Rating. Yeah. That's all we care about is views and rating. Yeah, ratings yeah. will be great. This, yeah, yeah. you know what? Unfortunately, we weren't able to advertise this ahead of time, but we'll get hits like crazy later if you die. If it's I die, die. Yeah. Oh my God. you know what, guys? I'm a team player. I'll do my best. Do it. Oh. Yeah. yeah, you've been in the business a long, long time, Tim. I mean, it, it, you could go off on a high note right now. Yeah, sure, sure. Twenty five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. By the way, for that. I, I helped. You're John Beatty helped. Yeah, I'm actually sitting at John Beatty's uh, old desk that he inked uh, Secret Wars on. Wow. As we did speak, you finally yeah. get to smell out? Cool. I did. No, I did. It smells like me now. <laughs> which, which oddly enough, smells just like John Beatty did after Secret Wars. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Does it have the blessings of Mike Zek? Uh, I, maybe that's what that other smell is. Mm. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Tim, I've known Tim longer than anybody here. Than anybody, yeah. Yeah. Um, we, we, were, met, we were an item. Is that yeah, something you should Before I met Joe. We were an item. Actually, you know what? I actually knew Joe before I knew you. Yeah, that's true. I did know Joe. So Joe and I have known us the longest. I feel like I've known Joe the longest. Yeah. Well, so Joe how did always Dan talks help, about uh, you. Yeah, how did you help Tim get in? What's that story? Oh. Are well, we allowed to tell that story here? Tim, Tim oh. didn't need a whole lot of help, but um, he was already working with um, John Beatty and uh, it was Andy Smith. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Brad Vencata. Brad Vencata. Oh, Brad, yeah. awesome. Also, yeah, they a had, no, they had a, yeah. yeah, they had a studio here in Orlando when I was in uh, in college at UCF. And, uh, but your your girlfriend contacted me. Oh yes. No. Well, no, she contacted your mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I, I'm loving this story. No, it was a great story. She, this is how you break into comics. Yeah. She was a nut. She was a she was the fantastic nutbag. When did the story end? Because it's taking a long time. <laughs> <laughs> right He's here. still not in comics yet, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Dragging this out, yeah. man. Uh, well, and that's how I got into comics. The end. <laughs> the end. The end. Yeah. Now she contacted me and she said. She wanted to show me his samples, which I saw, which were very John Byrne inspired. Uh, weird. But I think it did contain some Zipatone, which I was impressed with. Nice. Uh, was that what put it over the top? 
probably a zip tone in the John Byrne X Men and Iron Fist, and it wasn't the fact that I was bigger than you. I didn't like that. <laughs> well, the first time I met Tim, um, yeah, you were like two seventy five. You're six foot four, uh, all sorts of muscles. And I'm like, this is not going to work out. This is not. Yeah, gonna... back, by the way, I'm back to that minus the muscles. <laughs> Yeah, but then years later, I was at Extreme Studios, and we were um, they were looking for guys to do backgrounds and groom to be inkers. There's a lot of grooming. A lot of grooming. Oh, a lot and, of grooming. And I called up Tim, and he just happened to be breaking up with that very same girl. Yeah. He goes, I could use a break. I'll just move out to California from uh, from Florida. <laughs> and his mother. Sure, why not? I'll quit my job at the furniture store and uh, move mm -hmm. out. And yeah. Work for Rob. And they paid you pennies. You barely could uh, scrape a penny together once you got there. No, I was doing all right. No, I know. I'm kidding around. <laughs> As I recall, it was it was no. a background guy. Yeah, it was all right. For backgrounds, you're already probably making more than... Uh... I, than I am now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, Dan, it was you that was doing terribly. He was doing fine. That's true. <laughs> hey, if I would have just stuck with backgrounds, I used to ink a lot of backgrounds for... Uh, Rankers at Marvel. Also, you know, while I was inking regular Marvel books, I was still doing backgrounds. I remember when uh, when we were at Extreme, and Dan and I were just close enough to. I didn't want to come out and ask him exactly how much he was making, hmm. but I pretty much did that. And the way he answered it, oh, I, I'm not allowed to. No, you can say it. I'm just oh, kidding. Okay. No, his, his answer was a Mercedes a month. I thought that was great. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say what kind of Mercedes, but... No, I know. used Mercedes. I didn't want to get into details. But. <laughs> for a kid like me, that was pretty impressive. That was pretty yeah. impressive. Then I knew I wanted to be a comic book artist for reals. Yeah. Tim, you didn't think to yourself, what a douchebag? <laughs> no, no. I didn't give him a number. If I give him a number, I'd be a douchebag. You know what I thought to myself? I want to be a douchebag just like that. Right. A lot of people think that. <laughs> That's what a lot of people aspire to. Yeah. And you were successful. And I was. Super successful and at now it. Now look at me. Yeah. Now look at me. Thanks, Dan. You're welcome. I owe Dan everything. And now your car your car is amazing right now. What do you got? Oh, wow. Uh, Jaguar. Yeah. Uh, nice. Which one? The Jaguar. The, uh, yeah, what is it, Dan? The, um, Isn't it like the special turbo one? Yeah, it's... Uh, oh, it's Jesus a special Christ. edition... Family yeah, the, Jaguar. It's the, SU, yeah, it's the, it's the Jaguar uh, minivan, right? Yeah, no. Well, no. SUV. No. It's not the F type. It's the. Uh, oh, the F type's a great car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. What? Yeah, thanks. Look at the Lamborghini or you yeah, Dan, you ever been in an F type, Dan? Oh yeah, I have. That's a beautiful car. Once, <laughs> once I was in one in New York. Oh yeah. Ah. Yeah. It's amazing. Was it? Was it a, yeah, 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 having a steak. It's wonderful. Here's a nice the, steak and then jump in, in an F-Type. You're eating a steak in the car. Yeah. Go right out here. to Peter Luger's and then hop in an F-Type. That's living. It is living. Sorry, Tim. I didn't interrupt, interrupt your, your uh, Jaguar story. Sorry about that. No. <laughs> <laughs> you totally derailed. Your famous Jaguar story. Thanks. Yeah. Can you, can you yeah. share your uh, W-2s next? Uh, no. <laughs> Fantastic. No, I can't. <laughs> All right, here's my, I'm doing a drawing, Tim, of Clint Eastwood. Okay. Sure. And Sandra Locke. One of the first times I was, yeah. it's not, good. Yeah. you apparently don't care about this. Um, no, I care tremendously. Let's see here. This is, <laughs> what? Wait, wake up, Tim. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, let's see if sorry. I can't. Look at that. What? Whoa, everybody got real small all of a sudden. Oh, wow. Mm. I'm looking at this on my phone, so it's oh there we oh now there, I'll look at Dave. Dave Johnson. Dave is uh, giant spider man. Dave, you might want to change the <laughs> settings so we can see it a little clearly. It's it's really low def. Yeah, right. It could it could be most def, but right now it's a little low def. How do you? I'm looking at it right now. It looks great. Oh, now I see it. Now it's clearing up. Yeah. I'm going to start a daredevil in honor of. Of Joe, and I don't think I'm going to get very far, but I'm going to try to at least get something to show here. All right, you know me, I don't. Where'd Jeff go? There he is. Did you lose me? Hi, oh, oh, Jeff. Oh, hi. What up? Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you drawing, Jeff? And why, more importantly? Uh, why? Because, um, 
Because I can, Dan. Because it's there. Because it's just a big uh, a guy, answer. a wolf guy with a rifle. Uh huh. Looks, Looks like, like a wolf. Now, Jeff's camera is really low def. Jeff's a little uh, bit of a low def person. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is how I normally am. <laughs> I'm the I'm a JPEG. <laughs> a Jeff JPEG. Peg. <laughs> a Jeff Peg, exactly. You're mm. a Jeff. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. <laughs> Jeff, describe you as a person. No, describe uh, how you start something like that. How do I start something like this? Yeah, um, and more importantly, why? Well, uh, most of the time, I'm just uh, sketching, and something pops into my head, and I'll draw it. And then for the show, I then just make it big. So I was playing around with um, – I'm not really good at uh, uh, mechanical things, like at most anything. But um, – <laughs> Uh, rifles and uh, like, like armament and, and vehicles and stuff. So every once in a while, I'll just start practicing um, something I suck at, and mm -hmm. this is uh, and then build something around that. So I don't feel so bad about myself. Like if it was Jeff, just a rifle, I would feel terrible. But since Jeff I, is notorious for like awesome, like a notorious yeah. swiper. Yeah, he's a notorious. He's great at swiping. I love um, it. No, he's great at. Um, his sketchbooks are one of those, he's like one of those artists that always, like, he'll start and complete a sketchbook, and it'll look magnificent. Uh, I never have, it. I never have, I, there's not one sketchbook I've ever finished. Um, so, I always marvel at Jeff's sketchbooks, and, and just, well, I mean, just it's, it's easier to work in a sketchbook than actually finish a page, so, that's always, True. at least I have a sense of some accomplishment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Hey, so I, you know, a little self promotion here. I, you know, this whole drink and draw thing. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, technically speaking, I'm the third original uh, drink and draw guy, guys. What? Remember that? Remember that? I don't remember. Yeah. That. Dave, you, you, uh, that's, because, that's because Dave wasn't there yet. Well, well Dave was. Laguna Beach. Uh, sorry, Dave. Laguna, Dan. <laughs> Laguna Beach. What was the bar? The, uh, oh, the green room. Green room. Yes. Thank you. Jeff, back me up here. Yeah. You, me, Dan, Marine Room, napkin drawings, girls. Yes. Is it is technically isn't that how it started? Well, that is a drink and draw for sure. It was definitely a drink and draw. We just didn't call it that. Yeah. Uh okay. Agree I mean, to disagree. Did we call it? I mean <laughs> fair, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure you I'm pretty sure you guys called it a drink and draw. Hmm, uh, that's one Dave, of the, you know Dave's rewriting history. Huh. Maybe. That, that wouldn't surprise I, me because Dave's a little nefarious. <laughs> well, then technically, Dave gets a little, me, Dave gets a little territorial no, no. when it comes to Dan. Technically, me, Tony Harris, and Cully Hamner started it before you guys because we were doing it in Kaiser. So, oh, where? Well, at uh, strip joints. Oh, oh, so, oh that's pretty smart. So <laughs> terrible. Yeah, going to the strip joint. So. <laughs> I think guys in at strip clubs. Anybody got any stories? <laughs> no. Nope. No. Nope. 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 Not this no. game. Nope. No. <laughs> Never been. Never happened. Yeah. No. Oh. Huh. Interesting. I wouldn't want to go. Yeah, what a terrible Good time. Way for, you know, who, who would go to so just on an unrelated topic, I told my wife that uh, I'd been to Flash Dancers in Times Square. That's a and, uh, terrible one. I mean, <laughs> from a, you know, <laughs> and uh, she was actually impressed that I I had so much street cred, and that we uh, went in a helicopter with one of them. Uh, <laughs> yes, that was that was. Remember good that? He would yeah. take on the helicopter. Yeah. yeah, that was back when I had hair. That was oh, fun. The nineties were good. The nineties <laughs> were flowing back then. then. That was right right after like Fabian had a big. Well, I don't know a big something party. He yeah, he had a big party at his. Yeah. Joe, do you, do you remember that house? I do, yeah. There was a trampoline. I remember a trampoline and someone's wife on the trampoline. Whose wife yes. was that? Jeff's first wife. <laughs> no. no, no. Wasn't that Jeff's Maybe first not. wife? No. What? Absolutely not. Jeff wasn't betrothed at that point. I'm trying no, to get no. Jeff in trouble with Megan. Yeah, that, <laughs> I know. That, I can. Um, that, uh, that party had a great – it had a trampoline. It had volleyball. It was, uh, it was a fantastic party party yeah it was a fantastic party then we took a stripper on a helicopter <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Said, we, we really knew how to i was a full day. Up. yeah 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 
Was that Joe? You found Joe. Hmm. 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 <laughs> what was that name? <laughs> I said, is that the one they found in the Hudson? Yeah. No, they never found this one. And, uh, yeah, they never found this one. Yeah. We got better at it by then. Fond of that girl, as I recall. <laughs> you guys are terrible. Uh, Why do you sound she surprised? She was mean. <laughs> she was downright mean. She loved him. Oh. Yeah, she, she made me cut back. my hair. <laughs> remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. Uh, she made me. I do. Yeah. That's the, yeah. She I remember accidental. I remember accidental. Oh, yeah. I missed the. I missed the nineties. Do you guys remember all the? Uh oh. What? Jeff know, just stalled. Just went sideways. Jeff froze. just. Yes. We don't even know what happened to Jeff. He froze. Oh hmm. lord. Jeff well, ran out. Probably, of <laughs> <laughs> he was about to tell a story, and yeah. uh, mm, uh -oh. curious. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> he was about to tell a story about Donald Trump. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and wised up. No, yeah. Jeff was on, Jeff was on that uh, special uh, special island. Everybody knows that about him. Well, with yeah. Epstein. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Jeff was a big Epstein Island guy. Mm. <laughs> uh. it's, like, it's like Dan, you got to go to this island with me. I'm like, no, Jeff, I don't think I do. He goes, you do. do. It's I great. Do. Typical Jeff. You know, Jeff, if you had asked me, I, I totally would have gone. Uh, I totally would have gone. It was a little, lot cuter when I was younger. We all were. Yeah. <sighs> so, any questions from the uh, peanut gallery? Um, That's Tim. You're talking about. Yeah, oh, someone well. wants to know about Sean Murphy breaking Tim's toilet. <laughs> what? Breaking my toilet? Yeah. See, that's what I love about you. You're, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I remember, I remember Sean Murphy coming over here. In my mind's eye, he was like twelve. We used to have these big. Joe's been here before. We used to have these big MegaCon parties uh, back in the day. Yeah, it's just and, ten minutes away. Huh. Just ten minutes away. Yeah, ten minutes. Yeah, ten light Gross. years, according to Darwin. Ten light years. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there was this one year though. There was this group of guys, and it was like it turns out it was it was Sean, it was uh, uh, Lieber May. It was all. It was this group of like up and comers. It was like the class of you know two thousand five, but all is like twelve, thirteen year old kids. And I remember them. I, I had like Rob Haynes was living here at the time. David Self. And uh, they all just kind of park themselves in the back of my studio and they're going through like, you know, art portfolios and just having a good old time. And, you know, it's one of those things that you appreciate in hindsight, knowing who they are now. And uh, I don't know anything about him breaking my toilet, though. <laughs> I got nothing. He Maybe he fixed it. Yeah, he's yeah, a 14 year old boy. He's a nice guy. He didn't leave yeah, a double decker for you? I did. Yeah, <laughs> I, I did. You know, I want to highlight you... I want to highlight the elephant in the room here. Mm. Tim, thank you for inviting me to your home. You know Dan Pinocha has never invited me into his home? Really? Not yet. I'm, I'm planning on it though. <laughs> I've been out there hundreds of times. Really? It's always uh hey yeah, Joe, maybe at a bar, maybe at a restaurant, you know. <laughs> yeah, don't come to the house, whatever you do. Don't come to the house. Yeah. You don't mind. But Tim, well, like straight out of the box. You're in Florida. Yeah. Come to my house. Come on, man. Yeah. Uh, Tim, Tim is always very Absolutely. forthcoming, very giving, kind. Sukasa, sukasa. Amazing. Thank you, Tim. Yeah. You're forget. very welcome, Joe. And you're, you're welcome back anytime. Yeah, really? of course. Yeah. Cool. Joe, Absolutely. if we get to know each other better, maybe one day I'll feel comfortable enough. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> Meh. Meh. So, Tim, are you working on anything at the moment? Are you no, still I'm not working. No, are I'm unemployed. <laughs> No, we're uh, we are relaunching uh, Deadpool. Chris uh, Chris Pichalo, <laughs> Kelly Thompson, and uh, yeah, relaunching Deadpool. Yep, is that true? It's true. Yeah, I swear to God, didn't make it up. I don't know. It sounds a little fake. Yeah, that doesn't well, sound. You joking. know what, Dave? You know what, Dave? Look it up. <laughs> Look it up. Look it up. How long have you been working with? How uh, dare you? Is that the is that the artist you've worked the most with? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I've been with Chris longer than I've been with my wife. Yeah. 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 
Hmm. No, I, I think Chris and I started working together. It was right after the Joe Matarera run. Uh, that would have been like 98-ish, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> huh? Huh? It's like cackling. I don't know. It sounds like Jeff. It's a Jeff, are you okay over there? <laughs> Jeff's. But Tim, are you still like. No, really, you, Jeff. What was that? Are you what waking you anything at the moment? Huh? I want to get you back on track. <laughs> Jeff, we can't oh, even see on. what's happening with you. Yeah, what's going on, man? You okay over there? <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. You think Chris. A You're cutting in and out. Jeff. He's asking Jeff. Uh, about your inking on Bacello. Which, yeah. Yeah. And the big question is why? Why? Why would you do so? Oh, why? 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 Well, yeah, no, that's actually a good question. Um, generally speaking, I don't enjoy inking that much. <laughs> oh, but that's what you, huh? Well, yeah, I know, right? Weird twist. Um, I like drawing, but I am too lazy to commit to a full schedule of penciling. And Chris and I have been working together so long. I've been working off of you know, breakdowns for, for quite a while, a lot of the time. And it, so it's, I'm in, I'm in this sweet spot where I get to stretch my penciling wings without the pressure and the responsibility. I get to be creative and uh, yeah, no, it's, it's a good, it's a good, uh, if I wasn't, let me put it this way. If I wasn't working with Chris regularly, I probably wouldn't be doing this anymore. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, here's Jeff. Jeff. Jeff's kind of tinkering with his thing. Um, so uh, oh, Whoa, hey, hey. Jeff, definitely want to watch Jeff take with this thing. <laughs> yeah, that's always good times. I thought, yeah, I thought it was this is about my nib. No. Right. No, I adjusted my any... settings. Is that better? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, your settings look different. Look at you. Oh, look yeah, you. yeah. You can actually see the uh, drawing right. now. Can, can you hear me? I have a blue line daredevil started, guys. I don't know if nice. it's. That's for you, Joe. Pretend Thank like you're interested, Joe. Pretend. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> Hey, have you ever inked uh, your rig, Joe? I have several. Yeah, I inked, uh, inked yeah. Joe on uh, some Iron Man covers. Uh, what's the last time? The last time was uh, uh, Miracle Man, right? I think so. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Joe's been showing us a lot of the Miracle Man stuff. That's kind of neat. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. know you inked that. Yeah. No, I love, oh, dude. I love inked Joe. Are you kidding? Actually, I uh, wasn't well, kidding. No, actually, I always kind of. Genuine. There's some guys I've had to force it with, and uh, some guys just kind of, you know, Joe and Eric Larson are two of the guys that I never really thought that I would have as much fun with, and I ended up just having a total blast. Yeah, when I first looked at Joe's pencils, I'm like, this is going to be torture. Fuck it, you know? Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> yeah. No, again, just like with Chris, I get to basically draw the whole thing and then ink it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the same yeah. process, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Julian would like right. to know what kind of paper you guys are using. I never answer that question. That's very yeah. private for me. Yeah. I make um, my own paper. Two block. Jeff, I'm using Jeff. a just a Strathmore like bristle board. Oh, I thought it would be flat. like special made rice paper that you and your sensei made in a, sh a shed. <laughs> I don't, I don't use that for this show. <laughs> no, okay, sorry. Well, I'm using the special rice paper that <laughs> Jeff and his sensei made. So long, long ago, I guess, I guess I overplanned. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. I'm trying yeah, to find the right marker for the right using? job. You ever you ever look for the right tool for the right job, fellas? Damn, Dave, Dave is years. flying on that drawing. What'd you say? That Dave is flying on that drawing. Dave's a pro. I try. There's so something Dave, about was Dave I always liked. Uh, the convention well, was uh, all right. It was a fun show. Uh, you know, being in a casino. And there's nothing around the place. You literally didn't. I, I didn't leave the casino for four days. So really, that's yeah, kind of where they build it. Yeah, it was, <laughs> you are the no target to, audience. Yeah, yeah, there was no reason to go outside, and there was nothing to do outside, so you just you didn't go outside. So, did you play any roulette? Uh, I did, but I 
basically lost almost immediately, so I gave up pretty quick. Oh, that's normally your game. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, what was your name? I thought Dave was a blackjack guy. <laughs> no, no. Dave's a roulette yeah. guy. Really? Yeah. Classic roulette guy. I'm a roulette Classic. guy. Weird. Do you guys have a system? Uh, black or red. Always bet on black. Yeah. Thanks, Wesley Snipes. <laughs> it's true, though. Yeah. There we go. Um, Am I even allowed to say that anymore? I don't know. Yeah, you can. Well, he said okay. it. Good. Yeah, good. Because I, I mean, you're going to hear about it later on Twitter. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm now, I'm, it. The target's on yeah. me now, guys. Speaking yeah. of Leslie Snipes, uh, did you see uh, or Wesley Snipes? Uh, did you see the Dolomite trailer? Yeah. Oh man, that looks. It's good. outstanding. That yeah, it looks great. Some great Wesley in there. It's like uh, hmm. Eddie Murphy back to his old form. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, no, I think I think this is going to be good. I, yeah. I don't know. The preview looked great. Yeah. I got my high hopes. That's good to have. Ray Moore. Yeah, it looked really nice. So, Dan, uh, Patrick Wedge says that uh, he's revealing your secret of paper. He says you're using uh, AngelSoft 2-ply. I am. How do you know? <laughs> uh, good old AngelSoft 2-ply. Josh yeah. is asking, uh, Tim, any chance of doing a crater on? Nope. Whoa. All right. Nope. <laughs> That's out. <laughs> nice right, well, that moment that was. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> no, right. I got Art, Art, Art Hyde. Again, Art Hyde has a question for everybody. Uh, I have trouble I have trouble hurting my inks when I erase the pencils underneath. Any tips? Don't erase. Nice, Dave. I just get well, it right the first time. <laughs> you get it right. I've spent I've spent years and years and years trying to find a uh, Good eraser. Actually, no, I got um, that answer here. Vanish. Yeah. The best eraser I've ever used. That's a good uh, nope, you mean that's this a one? great one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Buzz turned Thank me you, Dave. It, it's the best eraser you will ever buy for ink. That was from Buzz? Going with that. Yeah, Buzz turned me on to that. Buzz turned you on. What makes it, it so Buzz, good? I uh it's made with magic, apparently. Yeah, it's uh, a magic. Have you ever met Buzz, Jeff? Yeah, Jeff. No, Buzz. I have not. You don't know who Buzz is? I don't know Buzz. You don't know who Buzz is? God damn it. I guess it, I'm Jeff. not in the club. I don't know who Buzz is. Wow. You don't know. I mean, you don't. Excuse me. You <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Hey, what? Hey, Tim, another question for you. Have you oh, done sure. everything there is to do in the industry? Is there anything left uh, that would get you excited to get, get you excited about doing? Get you hard. <laughs> that would get me hard. Besides the dance. Um, yeah. Oh, that's a great question, Joe. Um, I didn't ask it. No, it's not. It's not even Joe. Joe doesn't care. Yeah. No, it's a well, fan I'm gonna, question. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to pretend like Joe cared. <laughs> I, I really don't. I got you guys. Beat <laughs> I know. That's why. That's why I'm going to pretend like you do. Um, <laughs> no, you know, honest to God, I'm I'm pretty damn excited uh, about Deadpool right now. I'm. Yeah. I'm I'm riffing off of Chris's excitement. He's he's you know he's gone through a lot of stuff lately. Um, sure he's my he's he's my boy, and uh, you know I'm hanging tough. And uh, you know once he starts producing more pages, uh, I, I kind of feed off his energy. Yeah, you're a vampire. Perfectly honest. Yeah, I'm a va I'm a psychic vampire, artistic and psychic vampire. But uh, no, I actually I am honest to God, I'm more excited right now than I've been in in probably the last five or six years. You know what I love about you, Tim, is like no matter what you and Chris are working on, like I remember you were working on uh, Doctor Strange and you couldn't have been more excited about that. And yeah, you, you really genuinely enjoy, you're, you're still a fan of, of the work and, you know, it's very apparent. You know, I genuinely love comics. I just, I hate, I hate the goddamn politics. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, you know, it's, ta it's taken me offline. I'm not online as much anymore because I, I just I. <laughs> it's I just the Joe Casadas of the world that that have turned you off to comics, is what you're saying. Well, yeah. Thanks for thanks for paraphrasing. Sure. Yeah. Sorry. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Joe. Joe. Joe Casadas turned. I'm sorry. What? Tim, when you talk about the can you can you elaborate because I I don't I don't even uh, know the story. Or do oh, you know you're baiting me. You're baiting. Yeah, me. yeah. Come on, come on. It's a mask, <laughs> brother. 
Drink up. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 right. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, I, I'm pretty sure we're all politically aligned here. I think that's safe to say. I know you guys pretty well. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, um, comic books aren't about, in my opinion, the comic books that I love and the way I was written, comic books raised me. And, uh, you know, the way I was raised by them, it was, uh, you know, not to say it wasn't about social issues, but it wasn't, they weren't meant to be divisive. They weren't meant to minimize and, and, you know, call people out and, it's just it's just it's a bunch of bullshit right now everyone's so sensitive everything has a political agenda everything has to be pc everything has to have this big message behind it why can't why can't why can't it just be superheroes walking down the street the hulk bumps into the thing they bash each other's brains out for an episode and you know next issue that's the stuff i that's the stuff that i was raised on and and you know I know we got sick of that for a while because there was a lot of that going on, but I think now <laughs> it might be refreshing. We, I, I, yeah, it might be refreshing. I think it's been a while since we've had that. Like everything doesn't have to be the end of the world now. Everything doesn't have to be. At the end of the day, I do not give two shits what you believe, what your political, you know, leanings are. If you're right or left or whatever. I'm not trying to change anyone's mind. No one's going to change my mind. I well, for sure. realization. <laughs> yeah, amen. At this point in my life, the only uh, the only real power I feel I have in this world is how I raise my children, and that's how mm-hmm. I choose to exercise my my beliefs and my opinions and my you know political views and, and everything else. And even with my children, I'm not trying to change their minds. I'm just trying to open their eyes and open their minds, and you know get them out from out from in front of the TV and you know Wait, is, use, is that why child protective services paid you a visit probably probably, <laughs> probably. Which is how, I mean they're they're uh, how old are they now Tim uh my son uh, j- is about to turn 14 in about a week and and my daughter is uh is 12 <laughs> nice so yeah, yeah. Congrats, man. I got it t- yeah and Joe, Joe how old that's is fantastic hmm? how old your daughter uh, I, I, I don't talk family. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, no, I was just. I was just it, it, it's no, no. I, no, I appreciate I, him. I just, I just, I try not to talk. I, I try not no, to bring her into this world. Fair enough. Fair um, enough. I was just, I yeah. was just trying to do timelines in my mind because it's. Been yeah, no, no. A while. She, she's eighteen. She's, she's actually, she's eighteen. Oh uh, I just, God. I just make it a point. Yeah, I know, right? Fair enough. Uh, my bad. Fair enough. Yeah. No, fair no, enough. no, no. You, you didn't know. It's, 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 it's just my own personal thing. You know, it's just. Uh, I got you. Uh, you know, fan, yeah. fans, get yeah. a, get a get a, a great inside peek at how things work and uh sure. you know my daughter's got her own life and and yeah, yeah. uh you know there have been situations where yeah. you, know, you know what i say so well, thanks for asking dude thanks i total, for, totally yeah. totally got you man <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's my rant that's my rant i'm uh yeah i'm i'm path of least resistance at this point i just want to I just want to be cool. I want everyone to be cool. I want to surround myself with people who are cool, and you know. Yeah. What do you do? Shit here? starts. Huh? Yeah. Good <laughs> yeah. Goddamn question. Yeah, you messed up. You messed up. Yeah. You I done, done shit the bed. Up. <laughs> done drop my knife when I came through the window. <laughs> hey, who's writing the Deadpool thing? Uh, Kelly right, Thompson. Right. Nice. Classic. Yeah. Oh, right on. Yep. <laughs> And is it pretty funny? Is it pretty much like what you're talking about? Uh, so no, the first new is Deadpool, right? Well, you know they do they do consult me extensively on the uh, the scripts before anything uh, you know goes to press. So as I as I've signed off on, as all yeah, anchors yeah. are, are yeah, it, yeah. well, no, just me, no, 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 just yeah. me, just me. Um, Ed, going after King of the Monsters, which I actually think is super cool, and. Why? Uh, well, because he's king of the monsters. No, I mean, I'm just kidding. If, that does sound if cool. You're, yeah, if you're going after monsters, as one does. You know, yeah, as one. Yeah, you know, go for the best. Yeah, go for the best. Go for the big guy. Wait, so, who uh, is the king of the monsters? I, I don't know. Pretty sure you're gonna have to tune in. You're gonna have to tune in to find out. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool if we're angling for a Godzilla crossover. That would be great, actually. That yeah. uh, in answer to uh, the earlier question, that would yeah. get me excited. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I used to love buying Godzilla uh, back in the day with Marvel. 
Hey, what did you guys think of that last Godzilla movie? Didn't see it. I hate, I hate it. And really? I'm a huge Godzilla fan. I thought what it was didn't you like about it? Huh? What didn't you like about it? Uh, from the script to the acting to the the fight, it was just it would seem. It, God, did, Wait, is that the one with the, uh, the 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 girl from uh, Stranger yeah. Things? Stranger, Stranger Things. Things, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was so disjointed, and it almost looked like an American parody of an American who's never watched uh, an original like Japanese Godzilla movie, but what their idea of that would be like a parody of what an American who's never seen a Japanese Godzilla movie. Well, would history be. history shows again and again if that, that makes sense that we shouldn't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do the Blue Oyster Cult reference there. Oh, um, thank you. <laughs> Didn't quite pull it off. Not the folly of man. Good try. Still, uh, Good try. <laughs> oh, no, there goes Tokyo. Yeah. You know how many times I've seen Blue Oyster Cult in a concert? How many times? Yeah. Too many? I, three. Way too many. Um, <laughs> Did you see them when they had the Godzilla? Uh, I just would see them in like dive bars. Oh, I saw them. I saw them at the height of their career at '91, and uh, they had the Godzilla, uh, you know, giant forty-foot Godzilla breathing fire. No, I was always at I was always at heavy metal bars, and um, they they would be playing there. Well, I'm a little trying older too. So trying to get your Molly Hatchet and yeah. trying to get your friends in fights with Tank Abbott. I did try to get you in a fight with Tank Abbott. Oh. He's always yeah. angling to get his friends beat up. No, so it all and it almost happened this time. That would have happened. That was that could have been <laughs> that was, really ugly. <laughs> I would I would I wouldn't be here right now. Uh, did he, did he just walk up? Conor McGregor beating up that old guy in the bar. Well, we yeah, pretty much. He threw a punch. He never beat oh. the guy up. Yeah, the guy didn't even. The guy kind of last. That was, that was impressive. <laughs> Yeah. No. So what did, uh, it was in a bar. You, you yeah. can tell the story, Tim. It's, no, uh, you, you do it. You, I like you. You're a better storyteller. Well, Tank Abbott is a one of the first UFC um, uh, guys, and and so he, anyway, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, nice. Uh, All so right, there's Jeff Johnson. Hold on. Yeah. So he, he's he's walking around this this bar, kind of strutting around this bar with a guy who's wearing an identical shirt to him. Tank's shirt says fuck, and the other guy's shirt says <laughs> you. And they're kind of moshing, and they both they both are big, big bruisers. And um, and I go, and I said, uh, we're going to do the abridged version of it. I said, I said, go over there and ask him a question. We're not going to say what the question was, but it's a little bit inflammatory. And um, my prize was going to be Dan's art collection. Yeah, which at the time, like Tim has a notoriously great art collection now. But at the time, my art collection was was not bad. So, um, Tim was like, "Yeah, I'll do it." And it's, uh, I think I had to stop you from doing it, basically, right? Well, yeah. Uh, well, we, we did. I definitely didn't know who he was. You didn't know who he was either, right? Uh, not at the time. But then, then UFC w yeah. one or two happened, like maybe a month or two later, and I was like, "Oh." And we were like, "Wait a minute!" Yeah. 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 And then, Wait a minute! I almost died. Yeah, and then the uh, the bout the guy his first bout was with the uh, the door guy from the country the county line. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You and know? the other place, the place we went after that club. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Remember the county line? I do. Yeah. I I do. In fact. <laughs> uh, Good times. Great, great cheeseburger place next door. That's true. Yeah. In case anybody's. Looking for in the neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. So I think Catella. people want to know the uh, Tijuana story. Nah. <laughs> I don't even know. Do yeah. it. Um, you know no, they want to know it. We have to get that's a that's a good Ron story. We'll save that Ron for Ron Garney story. Yeah, right, let's say that, right. that for when Ron's on. We can he's never my, get him on. He's my favorite part of that story anyway. Yeah. <laughs> can I be on when Ron's on? You want to be on there? Just I want to be on when Ron's on, and I'll never ask again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we can make that happen. Okay. Well, maybe we should talk about the time you got stabbed in the pelvis. <laughs> <laughs> God damn you. Yeah. <laughs> it made bleeding cool. Uh, it's true. It's a bleeding cool story. 
This is the weirdest freaking convention weekend ever. Like, no, ever. Who was, was that? That was, uh, that was uh, San Antonio. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, first time, first, first only time I've been. No, I, I, look. I now there's a warrant out for your arrest, so. Another me. one? No, I'm saying after that story, after you got stabbed in the pelvis. No, no, no. no the pelvics. Oh, the pelvics. The pelvics. Sorry. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Andy Belanger's spelling of, of pelvis. There was no, no word out for me. Got a call from the freaking mayor yeah. congratulating me for standing up for myself. Yeah. No, I got I got to the convention. I got to the convention early, and it was on the uh, river walk. And we're talking like, you know, 1, 1 p.m. or whatever. So no one's there yet. I'm going to go get a sandwich or something. So I'm walking, walking down the river walk and I go under one of those bridges and there's, there's, uh, there's like three or four of these gentlemen twe tweakers. I don't know what they're on. They're on something. High on and, life. Uh, yeah. High on life. Yeah. Happy go lucky fellas. <laughs> and, uh, they just, they want, they wanted they wanted to know what I had in my pockets. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember what what it, what what the fuck it was I said. But, oh, I remember. But uh, it, I think it was something was it, to the effect of uh, it was I, something I, really cheap. It was I've got, super I've got, cheap. I've got thunder, <laughs> and I yeah. got lightning. No, no, no. It was something no. like that, Tim. No, it was. No, <laughs> it was actually something that weird. It was, you it was something. That. Listen, none, what? no, it was, it, I will cop to it being that cheesy, but it wasn't that. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that. I swear to God, it wasn't that. No, were you excited? The, the funny part, listen, though, here, here's the thing. The funny part is I stood my ground. They backed down. I went my way. They went, there's nothing happened. Absolutely nothing happened. I went, I got a sandwich. <laughs> I came back, waited for everyone to get there, told the story. The story gets out that I almost got mugged, and then fast forward to that evening, and who was it? So it was me, Dan, Dave, Andy Belanger. Who else? Who else was there, Dan? Um, uh, Carrie Nord. Carrie Nord. Nord. Yeah, yeah. Megan, like you know, the the usual suspects. And yeah. I just remember this story starts forming about you. Know, Everyone's hammered, and they're starting to come up with these like, oh, this alternate reality version of what happened. And that's what Andy throws out that somehow, like, I stabbed somebody lunged at me and I stabbed them in the pelvics. Yeah. <laughs> with this, yeah, with this. Oh no, 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 and, we, uh, no, no, no. We said that you got stabbed in the pelvics. Yeah, and so then it became a oh, bleeding pool story. Yeah, and then, oh, then, and then I we, got stabbed in the pelvics. Yeah, that's, oh, okay. no, that's what All we right. wrote. And uh, and then okay. See, I, I can't keep it straight because it never happened. Well, yeah, <laughs> right. but I, so, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. So I'm like there. <laughs> You got Andy's getting ready to like post this online, and I I tried to stop, and Andy said, "Listen, let me do this. This is yeah. going to be legendary." And I I and I quote, "If this ends up on bleeding cool, I'm going to sell all you guys under the bus. Every one one of you are going under the bus in the yeah. morning." And he goes, and he goes, "Okay, fair enough. Sure yeah. as shit, sure as shit." I didn't. And you remember me, Tim? I didn't want to do it, right? For no, I don't remember that actually. <laughs> yeah, oh. that does not sound like. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I don't remember that at, at all. Yeah, I, yeah. I actually, I actually remember you spell checking them. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Which is how pelvics came about. <laughs> so, uh, so first thing in the morning, uh, yeah, Rich Johnson, and there's like a, I get, there's an email from, and it's on Leading Cool, and there's this whole crazy story, and uh, yeah, I threw uh, threw you guys under the bus. So, so when did nope. the mayor get in contact with you? Uh, so the la not personally, the last day of the show, as I was leaving, uh, who was in charge of the show? Who, who was uh, Dan? Oh, Mark, who was the person? Uh, that is it Mark uh, Walters? It wasn't Mark. It was a no. It was a female. Oh, um, Aileen. No, 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 no. It was somebody who was, was somebody who was running the show, and they said that they had got actually. It had gotten out and that the mayor had called and like basically said, hey, tell him good for you for standing up for yourself type uh -huh. of thing. Like, woo, like Texas, yeah. woohoo, <laughs> type of thing. So yeah. I just remember that night we kept adding on to the story. Like, oh, like the Kelly, Kelly fell into the river. Oh, yeah, I showed <laughs> Kelly into the river <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Dan somehow was involved. None of these people were even there. Yeah. 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 
Meanwhile, Tim Sale was like in the hospital. Right? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah, we actually were at Tim Sale's deathbed. <laughs> yeah. Tim I remember actually. Lot. I remember running. Me and Megan actually in tears, like having to leave the room because we couldn't handle it. <laughs> yeah, and I thought you guys were full of shit about Tim being sick too. It was great. <laughs> yeah. Well, who would believe anything yeah, he, you said after that? that point, he, was in, yeah. he was in the room across from me, and I was like, "Yeah, there's this like homeless guy in the room across from me, and I think it might be Tim." Yeah. Yeah. He was just really not feeling well. <laughs> Craziness. There's a yeah. lot of craziness going on. I love Tim. Well, do you guys find that that, uh, that the conventions have become less or more crazy as we've done, gotten older and done more of them? I think less. I think a lot less unless you're getting stabbed in the pelvis. <laughs> yeah. no, the pelvic uh, Sorry, sorry, Jesus. Thanks, thanks to the internet, everybody wanted to report that Rich Johnston. Uh, <laughs> I think they've become a lot less crazy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, Frank Thierry has been saying for years now that, you know, the next big – you know, news stories that someone shows up with a automatic weapon is going to be a comic book convention. Yeah, well, and I think I, a lot I, of us have been saying that. I yeah, I agree. It's it's scary stuff, man. There was actually in uh, Motor City a few years ago, a guy didn't have he didn't get in, but he was trying to get in. He was stopped, and then they up yeah, the security. Um, well, yeah, it's already there's already Phoenix, been a few attempts. Phoenix, the guy was trying to uh, kill the power. That was a. Yep, that was the same yeah. weekend as uh as what we were just talking about yeah. with uh, San Antonio. And that San Antonio show, because of the Phoenix show, they implemented at the very last second, nobody was allowed to come into the show with purses or backpacks and I mean they were make there was or like pants. A you can wear pants, pants, I think. Remember? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, I snuck in with pants. You had pants on because you were like, No, I'm wearing my pants. Just remember that. Show. Like You're just 100%. that one just, wear my pants. Just, just that one time. Yeah. Right. Tim does have but, uh, a standing dress code. Yeah. I do. He's the only he does always look good. Get thrown out of a Bourbon Street bar for uh, <laughs> Oh, attack. is that all you got, the fam? <laughs> is that all you got? <laughs> you asked. Oh, sorry, sir. We require sleeves here at our <laughs> How dare you? How did we get around that? We went to you the next showed him your guns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they did offer to sell you a t shirt, you declined. Yeah. And this was in New Orleans, by the way. New Orleans. Yeah. 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 Well, where was that? The uh, I think I know where that place was. Um, Mol Molly was thrilled. Yeah, Inspiration yeah. Hall or whatever that is, yeah. that legendary uh, jazz place. No, no. Yeah, totally so wrong, I was yeah. right. So you no, nope. totally wrong. So basically, is everything nope. I'm saying is correct? Yeah. Okay, nope. Exactly wrong. The opposite of right. When was the first time you fell in love with Sandra Locke? Uh, Be honest. Jeff, Jeff, take that. I don't even. Um, Do you even know who I she don't even is? Know that, I don't even know who that is. You don't know who Sandra Locke is. I'm not I, a big I, uh, fan of movies. <sighs> wow. Poor Sandra Locke. <laughs> We're clearly not a fan of Sandra Locke. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm well, sure you're nailing it, though. <laughs> <Maybe not. laughs> I mean, I could be, but literally, it doesn't matter. Dan, do you want to talk about the message behind the bird she's holding? Uh, so I was looking at a photograph to um, to draw this, and Jesus. Originally, I thought like <laughs> this, this. I thought she was holding a bird. It was actually Clint Eastwood's hand. So, <laughs> so I have a bird. <laughs> I have a bird in here. A bird in the fun. hand. You yeah, so you got a bird in the hand. It's little known fact: things for has a deformed hand. Yeah, he does have a bird-like hand, and he did make that one movie. Yeah, he does really. Yeah, I didn't know. It's that, a very actually. deformed hand. They'll never show his hand on on film. Like you'll never see a direct watch, shot. Watch the, way, watch the way they frame it, Tim. Watch the, the Clint Eastwood movie. See the way they frame it. They, they, always, they will you know, never directly because he has really? these he has these strange so, thumbs. They look like um, what? Oh, like Megan Fox. Yeah, like Megan Fox. A little bit, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm talking right. about. Oh yeah, She's I know. Perfect. <laughs> or uh, who's the guy that used to play Radar on Mash? Oh yeah, he well he was just missing. Oh. A, he was missing a finger. Yeah, he's missing. A thumb, so. Well, Clint might as well be missing a finger because of the way his thumb looks. Um, it's a mess. <laughs> it's it's pretty crazy. Yeah, Try to find a picture. You guys are like that. Yeah, it's almost impossible. 
Yeah. That should have been it once upon a time in Hollywood. That would have made a great scene. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Aww. I'm dying to freaking see that. Oh, it's awesome. No, you don't I, want to look I, at it too I, long. I, Dave, no, I know it's going to be your new favorite movie. There was a movie he was going to direct and produce. He didn't write it, but it was called Thumbs. Thumbs up or something. Yeah. <laughs> all thumbs. All, all also, thumbs. Very, very, very difficult for him to type. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not a great writer. That's why he was always directing. Yeah. Um, because, <laughs> you know, it, it takes him 10 times longer to type something than, you know. Yeah. And he's like, look, uh, how many years do I have left here? Yeah. You know. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish. That's gonna be that's that's right. Dunsies. So so August uh, Dunsies is uh, challenging us with another one of his nutty questions. Uh, okay, I like the nutty question. In an unexpected turn of career, you guys quit comics and start a boys band like what? the block. Based well, on your personality, who would be who? <laughs> well, I already put Tim in a boys band uh, photo. Yeah, Tim can sing pretty good. Either. All bets are off now. Yeah, Tim, Tim's that's actually that's a pretty good. Uh, he could do a pretty good um, in sync. And who else? Backstreet Boys. You do well, right? I have no idea what you're talking about right now. <laughs> Tim, I've heard you. I've heard hey, Tim, you. Tim, I, I apologize, Tim. It's it's Brian Bendis. Oh, I'm not, yeah. not going to take it. You put him on. Take it. Yeah, take, no, take, it. take it. How many take comic it. books has Bendis inked? <laughs> <laughs> Only his own. I'll Give it a choice. Would any of you guys want to be inked by Bendis? Let's let's be frank here. I no, would, I would totally no. be would. Yeah, would I you? totally would. I'll bet he's written more books than I were writer. Hold on. Really? I would if it meant better royalties. Yeah. yeah. Do you always draw upside down, Dave? Uh, Tim, what, what, he, he, he does this every every stream. He calls just before we're over, in order to try to upstage <laughs> our guest. You know, it's uh, uh it's a possibility. You know, I, I don't, I, it's not the business that I recognize, you know. I mean, the guy yeah. I recognize was this humble, wonderful writer who worked for Marvel, and then he goes over to DC. He, and the he's, moment, like, he's a monster now. The moment he went to DC Comics, he he went a little bit because DC is near Hollywood. He went a little bit of Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, and it's like you know, he just, he just uh, doesn't return my calls, doesn't return my emails. Mm. But every time you're on this this live stream, there he is. Yeah. Yeah. I still love the guy, but you know, it's just—it's just I worry for him. I really do worry for him. Yeah. Oh, it's a little—it's it's disappointing. I'm sorry to hear that. Nah, you know, I, I, just, <laughs> Brian. It's, I just i just think it's a matter of like, you know, he, he just needs a fresh perspective. You know, we'll, we'll talk and I'll straighten him out. You know, it, it happens. That's what friends do, right? Oh, uh, we'll, we'll get we'll, absolutely. Yeah. We'll yeah. get him back. Yeah. You know, I mean, look, Dan went through one of these phases. Cut. You know, we had to beat him with a, a sack. Dan full went of, through a lot. <laughs> yeah, I went through, went through a lot of phases. <laughs> Totally. Yeah. <laughs> That's the rumor, Dan. Um, I went through a lot of different things in my life, things I'm still working through. Hey, can you tell us about the saran wrap phase? Oh, God. Tim didn't know me then. So. Oh, I can. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was just at Tim's party. Tim would throw a party, and I'd show up, and I'm like, it was a saran wrap party, right? And he'd go, no, not I haven't yeah. had one of those yet. Yeah, That's, not really what, That's not how it started. I, I, just, I want the origins of the saran wrap phase. No, that was Whoa. that was like day three in New York City, fresh fresh off the uh, right, right off the bus at Grand Central. Yeah, they're like hey, kid. party rather. <laughs> yeah, and you there with the mullet and Pinotian, all greased up in baby oil and, and coke and baby oil. That's, that's how I remember Dan in the nineties, right there. <laughs> greased up, right, Tim? Yeah, greased I, up, I, I, baby I oil, giant mullet. How was our workouts, Tim? Do you remember our crazy yeah, workouts were, across oh, the street? Were, oh God, they were brutal. We. Uh, yeah, we were frightened. He would draw all day. I mean, that life at Extreme Studios was really like it was. It was a short period of time. It wasn't a long period of time. We were all there, but it seems longer than it was. Yeah, and we would just draw ink everything all day long, and then it basically there was a big gym, a twenty-four hour fitness or LA Fitness or whatever it across was the street, across the street. You walk to, and we work out for about two hours. I don't think anyone cares. No, and then we'd hold each other, and then we'd just go, it's all over now. It's all over, and we'd both be yeah, then tears and, and sweat. Um, break beautiful. out the saran wrap. Yeah, so I like, and I'm like, Tim, can I put the saran wrap on now? And you're like, later, later. Yeah, no, it's my, no, I said, no, it's my turn. 
So, yeah. so, so Tim, I've told this story before, but I'll tell it again just because I think it's a it's it's worth telling. Okay. Before I was in comics and, and I was just starting to get back into art, I, I was uh, uh, trying to get some advertising work. And I remember walking into this and it was a it was a comic style advertising job. Right. They needed they needed to make a draw in that style. Right. So, so I walk into this place to show my portfolio and and it's, it's basically a, a female operated office a run office. And uh, and I noticed that you know, there's only one person looking at my portfolio. And I noticed like a, a whole gaggle of people. Uh, in the other corner of this loft, looking at a portfolio from some guy who had this glorious black mullet down his back. Uh, he had like the <laughs> sort of the, the pencil thin, the pencil thin tank top. And all I could remember was he was glistening. He was all oiled up, glistening <laughs> and so tan. And then a couple of years later, I break the comics and, you know, I have this anchor named Dan Pinocean and we get on the phone, we start talking, you know, and he's like, hey, come on down to Florida. And I'm like, and I get down and I'm like, Son of a bitch! It's the glistening guy, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. and it wasn't until we started doing the stream, you know, several months ago, that Dan Dan told us what that formula was to that glistening effect. That uh, was a formula my sister um, developed, <laughs> and it was uh, and, you, and you know Don, Hi, right, Tim? I know Don. <laughs> I know you know Don. Yeah, um, it was it's token baby oil. It was a great mixture. For sun tanning, brilliant. There's no SPF involved. Hey Dan, speaking yeah. of of times that you were in an office, weren't you? Didn't you try to be the Beast Man on the, a new TV oh, show? Yeah. I, I at one time I walked. I don't know where I was, but um, there was some somehow I got asked to try out for Beastmaster. That's it. That's what I'm I, 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 mean, I was in LA and I auditioned for Beastmaster. Oh, I came in there I to do storyboards. Master Beast, Master yeah, I came in to yeah. do storyboards, and they thought I was there for you know to show up for the audition. And uh, were you in Swamp Thing? Too funny. I was in Swamp Thing, and I was in Superboy. Um, yeah. the old TV shows. Yeah. yeah. Like a gardener. You've had quite a pretty uh, extensive uh, film career too. <laughs> Let's not yeah. get into the other films, but um, <laughs> but, but, Mary, but what about Mary Famous right? Actress? Oh. Yeah, okay. yeah, <laughs> but no, I would have loved that. Would be so funny. Like, what, what's Dan doing now? Oh, he's playing Beastmaster on USA Network. That would have been a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, you know, I like cats. I have a fun dance. I have my actually, it is my first dance story, and I didn't know it is uh, Creation Con 19, 1982 in Orlando. I'm 12. My mommy took me to my first con, and I got in line. To meet Bob Layton, and so I'm waiting in line, waiting in line. I get up to Bob. Bob era when he's in his, he's got his white uh, Don Johnson jacket and his white slacks, and he's you know Mr. Hollywood. And not Bob Wyatt next to him. He's I like, remember this. He's, he's just come, he's fresh fresh off of Iron Man. He's doing Hercules now, and I'm just gobsmacked. Finally, I get up to him. Oh, and I'm like, oh my God, Bob Layton. He's like, hey, I'm like, yeah, man, here's 20 bucks, uh, Wolverine, which I still have, by the way. And he was super cool. And I, I just proceed to start peppering him with questions about John Byrne. That's it. John yeah. Byrne? <laughs> Do you? What's he like? What's he? Did he? Does he this? Does he that? You know what? He was. A, he was a champ. He was super cool. Mm -hmm. Did me a great Wolverine sketch. And down to Bob Wyatt check. And Bob's like, You want me to ink that? And I'm like, What are you talking about? <laughs> like, I didn't even was. And I walked away. How ironic. It, I do remember uh, I was a little jealous who's standing, that you got the. Guess, uh, who's standing, guess who was standing in line directly behind me that I wasn't going to meet for like another 10 years or, I don't know, six, seven years, whatever it was. Yeah. That guy. That's right. And I remember him asking those remember, questions. I remember. I remember so jealous that you got the um, the sketch too, the Wolverine yeah. sketch. This and he was small showing world, us small world. Bob was showing us this huh? entire penciled story, the death of Spider Man. It killed Spider Man. <laughs> remember those pages? Uh, yeah, we weren't happy about that. I didn't like it. We like, why, would you, why would you do that? And he goes, and it wasn't even he was killed by like Doc Ock or you know, 
Um, it, he was killed by a cop, a New York City cop. He just shot him. Mm. That was the last page. You know that that story of you two guys being in line. It's 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 uh, it's very romantic. It's reminiscent of like um, those couples that 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 yeah. were you know that were <laughs> on the same day and they get end up getting married. You know down the road. Yeah. Yeah. You know, separate- and we kind we kind of did in a weird sort of way. You kind of did, yeah. yeah. We were married. Yeah. yeah, I literally Except- would not be. I would not have ever gotten into comics if not for Dan. That's 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 a fact. Something wow. I regret, but it happened. No, it's <laughs> some, no something back. something I regret actually. Well, Dan, Dan, just think about all the work that would have come your way if it hadn't gone to Tim. <laughs> I walked I walked Tim into the uh, into the Marvel offices, and that was the end of uh, the X Men days true. for me. Let's, I, I'll fess up. You know, when, when I was doing those Iron Man covers, yeah, I thought about giving them to you. You did, and, but then I thought, wait a minute, what's Tim Townsend doing? <laughs> I didn't. I never liked Tim's work. Best, it, yeah. Best day ever. Right now. <laughs> best day ever. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if Dan ate those? Nah. Let's give it to Tim. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a drop of mic moment for me. That was. I was interesting because they had. They, they were testing out Joe Mattiero when we came in and, into the X offices, and and they were like, "Well, who can ink this?" Or maybe it was Roger Cruz or something. But um. Wait, who's Joe Mattiero? No, it was Bob. Bob gave me Wolverine. Bob original. Remember, Bob was like, "Hey, you, here, you want Wolverine?" I was like, "Over uh, Adam." Oh, okay. And uh, so I took that, and I think I did. I think I did like one or two issues. Uh, X Men. I remember X Men Alpha was in the works, and Fabian. We went to a market. Fabian took me aside, and I was total newbie here. Fresh off the boat, and he looked at me and he goes, "Yeah, how big this thing is going to be?" He goes, "If you don't take this, you're an idiot." Mm-hmm. So I took it, and uh, that was the first the first time that cover. And uh, I did you know worked with Roger Cruz in the interiors, but based on that cover, Joe decided he wanted to work with me on a regular basis. So I did like a couple issues. Yeah, I forgot you, then- you ate a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of them. No, I mean I mean uh, experts. Was it Andy or Adam? It, no, it was it was Andy. Oh, yeah, okay. it was it was it was Andy. It was almost all. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. Good times. Good times. Good times. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Tim has inked me. I make Tim on a profit piece. You ink? Yeah, you ink my first my first published pencils. I've never inked you though. Have I? Not too many people have. I think Danny Mickey has and uh, Walden Wong, and that's it. It's like it's like going to Dan's yeah. house. It's a, yeah. <laughs> special thing. Never been yeah. invited. Or Joe. Yeah. yeah. Ben, are there any like worthy questions? <laughs> oh, look at this. John Dell. No, how about how about some John! unworthy questions? <laughs> Let's try unworthy ones. Star crossed I... inkers, he says about us. I have a question at some point. Oh, really? No, I mean it's not a big one. I was just curious, like if if Tim feels like he inks differently now than he did when he was younger. Does your technique changed or different tools? Do you have different approach? I had more, pa- I had more patience when I was younger. Uh, my hand, when I, you know, I've developed a little bit of a tremor as I've gotten older, and I've, I've had noticed. to sort of uh, adjust to that. Yeah, yeah. Tremor hand. Yeah. How do you, how do you adjust to a tremor? Uh, so sloppy. I blew out. I blew out a disc 13 years ago, pretty dramatically. And yeah. after that, I started. That's when I started noticing it. And I, for a while, and I noticed without really even trying. I start my left hand. I started kind of working like a sign painter. Mm. And oh. to this day, a lot of times, a lot of times, if uh, you know, if it's really bad, I'll just kind of like stay. It is. It's like second, second name. Oh. <clears throat> Yeah, drink, drink and draw. Either that or Park. Either that or Parkinson's. I'm not sure. Well, we can always hope. Um, hey Dan, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta talk about the elephant in the room because I'm, like, I'm, I'm sensing a little discord here between the group. I mean, you know, we've done this for a long time, and I think there's some tension. Why is it that every time Jeff speaks, you make the sound of disappointment, like oh, oh, because he's so bored of me. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 so long. it hurts my heart. It's not, it's not a secret to it. Dan is. Dan has been finished with me for years, but he, but I, but we're just, I, old, 
And you keep I calling him. More, I won't leave yeah. him alone. <laughs> I've never inked anybody more than I've inked Jeff. So there's a little bit of resentment and there's just like, I guess, anger. Jeff's never yeah, looked. I will go. Jeff's never can, looked. Can you that is the best this? ink you Jeff's ever this, had. You know, on the side. Thank you. Thank you. It hurts my heart. It really hurts my heart. Oh, you don't yeah. like to see Discord. No, I know. I, I want us all to be friends, man. I don't. I don't like seeing this. You know, I don't. I don't. You know, I don't want to see Jeff leave or, or you leave or you know everybody leaving a huff because of oh, you. Know. The problem is, Joe, is I won't leave him alone. I think that's really the issue. I call him at all hours yeah. of the night. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I'm constantly sending yeah. pictures of myself. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of pictures? Uh, <laughs> I mean, glamour shots. Where I, look, I look good. I think I look good. Jeff. Jeff will notoriously take a selfie. Jeff, you look great. Right? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. A lot of moisturizer. Right. That's an awesome drawing, Jeff. Oh, thanks, Joe. What the hell is it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See how easy it is? <laughs> yeah. hey, I don't know. It just sort of drew itself. What yeah. the hell is it? <laughs> but it there's, there's no purpose behind it. Jeff, do you have nightmares? Constantly. Because Wait, you have like a very fertile imagination. Like you'll just he's, work, the... he's working it out on the page. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was going to be Petal Wolf for a second. Uh, well, I mean, it's an evolution of Petal Wolf. This is a, a Petal Wolf. Right. I miss him. Yeah, he, he shed all the petals. Yeah. Petal Wolf ride a bike? No, he has big petals that come out of his lapel. Um, it's oh. it's a very unusual design. You know, it sounds very, first, Port Land, it sounds very Portlandian. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> definitely that. Yeah, it's for sure. By the way, Jeff, Molly and I are desperate for an invite to come out to visit you guys in Portland. We're done. We're slightly we're obsessed through television. We we're turning into uh, uh, hippies. Yeah, well, it's uh, port. It's port. It's it, it really is the show. <laughs> There's no doubt about yeah. it. Yeah. Look how, look how Dave signs his name with authority. Like a champ. Hmm. Look at that. Oh, I learned it from you, Dan. I, I didn't sign mine yet because I'm not a I'm not a uh, pompous sort of you know. <laughs> Tim, how's that drawing going? Did you finish yours yet? Yeah, let's see, Tim. Me? No, I. This yeah. isn't going to get finished. This is just. Hi, dirty. Oh, that's pretty cool. I love you that. Need, you need a logo on them. Nice abs. <laughs> Beefy. I, I I know right. Yes. Nice. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Tim, I know as far as he's going to go. Your house, you have one or two collectibles. Oh, well, a few. Can you pick up the phone and, and take us around and show us the studio? I can. All right. I can. So, can I make it quick? We're running late. Right. Yeah, we're running a little late. This will we'll end it with Tim's studio. Yeah, all right. Every now and then, real quick. All right. Hey, Tim. Tim, make it know. snappy. Yes, yes, yes. All right. All right. Every now and then, Tim will um, pick up like a trinket or two. Okay. He has the best collection on the planet. As you can see by the, the effective um, <laughs> high depth shots. <laughs> it's just a bunch of blurry images. Yeah, I mean, aren't you enviable? Aren't all the viewers enviable right now? I mean, they're just. Uh, are they? Oh, wait. Chuck. No, it looks yeah. great. You're doing a great oh, job. Keep this way. Dude, super <laughs> fast, <laughs> though. Yeah. It's like taking right. photos oh, of Here's a good one, though. Art. There's a John Byrne original double page spread. This has been a disaster. Oh, and there we go. Okay, cool. Nice. I, I, by, by the way, I, I think we need a disclaimer for the audience: those of you who get motion sickness, please. We <laughs> <laughs> don't want any lawsuits. Thanks, Tim. We just got sued. I just, I'm having a seizure, Tim. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Between your audio coming in, I'm, like you've had a stroke, I'm and moving. Then... I'm moving like super slow right now. So you got a few items, I'm noticing. Jeez Louise. Super slow. Too? Jesus. You I just don't. Get a, you get he has a, his children uh, doing it. You get a leaf blower and just blow I have it all <laughs> Hey, Tim, I think it's the trimmer in your hand. Oh, boy. Oh, that's Thanks, that's Joe. Thanks. Wow, Joe. You know how your inks are going to look I'm gonna, in a few years? Oh, yeah, exactly. Dude, it's worse than me when I have to announce that I have Parkinson's. Right. You're like the Charles Schultz of cameramen. 
Uh, uh, Tim, we're never asking a guest to do that again. <laughs> you know who's doing a great job of it? Can you, you, know, see, you see that? Chip Zdarsky. We saw his studio. We did a little studio tour, and it was magnificent. That's great. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Finally, <laughs> I thought, why don't we repeat respect. that? Yeah. Never again. <sighs> never. Uh, I'm done with The next time, Dan, just, just ask our guest, you know, how are your hands? Yeah. How do you feel? You okay? Oh, yeah. You're steady? I'm sure Chris Pacello is very happy you're going to be aching with that hand soon. Um, <laughs> next, week, next week, let's get Michael J. Fox on it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's edit that out, Dave. It's not right. very nice. I'm gonna go mad. You can edit that out. Now. Bye, guys. I'll have to edit that out. Thanks to you. Why um, would you? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Tim, hey. farewell messages for, um, for your fans and particularly um, – John Dell. Oh, what? what just happened? Nothing. I, I, I was focusing on David showing his drawing. <laughs> There's yeah, a problem in my hand. What do you think? You. That's a fan? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Screw you guys. There we go. You guys are a bunch of show <laughs> this is proof of concept. We've all done drawings. We all like to draw. <laughs> my favorite drawing is F's. There. Thank, thank you. Jeff's pedal wolf well. minus the pedals. Yeah. Yes, pedal gun wolf. wolf. He's a little sniper. Start working on. Start working on the. Button. Somebody, uh, somebody on the. Uh, somebody called it a metal wolf. Just so you. you metal. Know. There you go. Metal. Oh, nice. I like that. John Dell says, "I remember back in the Mega City party days, Tim had an awesome Michael Golden Punisher cover. Do you still have it? Yeah, that's long gone. No. Oh. Hmm. Sorry." It's true. I remember that one, John. Yeah. That was a that was a phenomenal was cover. A it was one. it was uh, Punisher, yeah. and he was a little upset, and he had a, he had a machine gun. I recall he did. Yeah. Oh, was that the uh, mini gun cover? Yeah, and then Spider Man. Yeah. I think was in it. Spider Man and Daredevil. That was a huge piece. Yeah. Uh, it was piece. Yeah. Yeah. I Tim that. sold it, and he bought a full salad. I think he bought a salad um, with that. Oh, I got a John Byrne X Men cover. Oh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Crafty. Ooh. Which oh, you is now a gone dealer. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Nope, I got, yeah. Tim, do you want to give your address so that people can come, <laughs> come visit your house? So it's uh, I mean, someday you should actually give zeros. tours. <laughs> Dave, there's a little bit of art advice for you okay. um, All right. from, from Gar. Just throw some snow on that background. It's The black on there is begging for it. So a little art direction. Yeah, I could do that. Oh. There you go. I'll do that. Good Rick for you, Robert. Dave. Took that yeah, very well. I, 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 I just gonna say, Dave. Good for Dave. I gotta find my white outfit though. But. No, you always keep it handy. Uh, what I recall. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Yeah. Dave, uh, I'm working on something for you indirectly. Um, Who is? This week. I'm uh, doing a little work on on one of your projects that you abandoned years ago. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, let's not bring that up. No, we're not going to talk about it. But that's yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to talk about it. In trouble. So Gar says Tim was such a cool guest. Thanks for coming on, Tim. And there's a black heart. I don't know what the black heart symbolizes, but hmm, black. Love. I don't know, but I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. black love. I'll take it. Yeah. Ben, do you have anything to add? I got nothing. Um, I'm still recovering from yeah. the uh, shaky. Shaky. No. <laughs> dizzy, dizzy still. Wow, that must have been really bad. It was tough on all of us. Yeah, it was really bad. Wait, wait, yeah, just sorry. watch it. Just rewatch the broadcast. You'll see what we're talking about. Is is this a, take you back to? Yeah, to that's kind of what we saw. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm wearing a a Mark Irwin um, Street Fighter Club shirt that glows in the dark. I see that. Doesn't? Yeah, I see that. Can you turn out your lights? What? Can you turn out your lights so we can see it glow? Does it glow in the dark? It's not dark here yet. We live in California where it's always oh, sunny. Always sunny. <laughs> <laughs> but I drew it. They don't it's, have it, lines in California. It, I drew the shirt and I got to I got to technically work on Street Fighter, so oh. not available. Well, good for you, Dan. And then I drew a lot of comics too. The show's about Tim, Dan. Oh. All about <laughs> So Tim, you said you've abandoned social media, but here's your, here's your um, I never said, I never said that. 
<laughs> you've abandoned social media. Clearly, I haven't. I'm here. I'm here. Tim's on Tim's on Twitter at. Uh, no, actually, that's okay. That's, I'm that's not, not you. On Twitter. I mean, I have a Twitter account, but I'm never on Twitter. So okay. Instagram, and Facebook. Is that because you have a Twitter Instagram. account, but I'm never. Is, there. is that because you hate your fans? In, 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 it is. Yeah. Why don't you treat the fans with respect? Yeah. All three of them. Well, yeah. you know, I'm getting curmudgeon in my age. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. where where Joe go? You upset Joe. Nice. I just work. Away. Clearly, I, clearly, I pissed Joe off. We've extended the time for you to be on here, and then Joe's like, we have "I'm out." Yeah, I have a hard out. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. Place to go, man. Deadline. All right. Deadline. All right. Last thing. Let's see. Joe's Joe's out. Um, Joe's out. Let's go. Let's go. Dave's out. Um, I'm, here. I'm just putting snow. Dave's on out. Oh, no, Dave's, Dave's back. In. Jeff's Jeff's in. I'm always Jeff, in. Rich, Jeff is constantly online lurking. Yeah. He's a lurker. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Jeff's Jeff's one of my favorite people of all time. Yeah. Just want to say that publicly. How come you've never inked Jeff? Didn't I? Did you? Did you ink a Hellboy I drew for you or something? Oh, no. Nope. Nope. Well, let's make Uh-oh. that happen. <laughs> make that happen. Actually, Tim, you've never inked me. My phone's about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <break> it up. <laughs> All right. All right. There you go. It's literally okay. dying. All right. Oh, that's very. Wow. All right. Damn. That's a. That was a good call. Yeah, that was a good call. Good, that's good. really really cool. What was the guy's name? Gar. Gar. Yeah. yeah. Gar Hyde. Tim. Good call, Gar. The guy's name is like Tim. It. Townsend. Look, he goes, no offense to any other great art guests you've had on, but Tim has been my absolute favorite. Thank you, guys. Wow. Wow. Seriously? Well, Tim Tim is the best. Tim has been our best guest. Joe, how would you feel if we replaced you as the, the regular and made it Tim? Because he's got a lot of fanfare right now. Are, are you are you serious? Joe's already alive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really? He's already gone. <laughs> yeah, no, Joe's back. Shit. Oh. I don't know. I... I <laughs> I say, I say, we leave it up to the fans. Say, we leave it up Tim, to the fans. I've been asking for months. Who do I have to sleep with to get off this podcast? Yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> Joe, if you would just disconnect that webcam, we wouldn't be able to like chime in. Like, we, you're always working. You're always behind the board. Communicate. Log you in. You know what sucks, Dan? It's, it's. Uh, I'm still having that lag problem with, uh, <laughs> with, uh, with my pen. So, I, like, it's, it's taking me like, a, like this hour plus to just draw a few lines. It's sucks. Uh-huh. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. if we continue with this, uh, if only there was a, there, there was devices that used pen and ink that could make all that go away. <laughs> yeah, do you still make those? <laughs> no. <laughs> that was <We're> gonna, gonna, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I may have to go analog right because I was actually working on a special drink and draw piece. What? Oh, yeah. oh. It was drink and draw themes. Can we see it? Um, There's probably some some booze involved. Can we see what we yeah. have. Yeah, definitely so far. Yeah. What was that? Whoa. Where are you going, Tim? Settle down over there. Tim's twitchy. <laughs> I am. I'm just trying to get comfortable. I've been standing up now. My yeah. shoulder's getting tired. Yeah. Oh. Now you're pretty clear. Switch arms. Yeah. Is that Spider-Man? Using both, using both now. <laughs> now that, it, all kidding aside, Tim's studio, <laughs> I've never seen anything quite like it. It's It's got it's blurry. blurry. It's <laughs> super blurry. <laughs> It's, it's super glorious. It's like a museum of wasted money. That's what it is. Uh, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a glorious use of his money, I think. Wait, how dare you? How dare you? I love it there. Ben Fayo. You guys want to know? Uh... <laughs> yeah. well, somebody wants to hear the theme song again, Dan. I'm not going to oh. do it. You're not oh, going to do it? Oh. Nah, just, I got to finish the recording. I just All right. All right. Because I know there's some there's some people in Florida and in Tampa that have been like clamoring for it. So there's a I'm a huge fan of it. Yeah, I want to hear. Yeah, it's awesome song. Uh, yeah, Joe wrote and he he did a semi performance the other day of the theme song. Oh my god, I want to hear it. Yeah, not today. Well, you have to come back today because Dave's being. Dave being a big. Dave will have to be on a day with me. You know what? I I played it for him. It's like too long, too long. Well, Dave, like, well, it is too long. It's like, um, like it's cut like it down to fifteen seconds. No, 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 it's too long. It's half the it's half the broadcast. Uh, what is 
<laughs> it is. I'll it is back. an opus. It is. I'll be back on the Ron Garney episode, and then we'll make Joe do the theme song. Yeah. For Ron? Yeah, because Ron doesn't have a musical bone in his body. Yeah, exactly. Oh, remember when we caught him playing piano at some show? What? We had no well, idea no, we he knew that. Through, we were walking through the, the hallway at San Diego at the hotel, and he just, we were like, where's Ron? And we hear this classical music. And Ron that was just a weird of, weekend. Yeah, it was yeah, super, so. yeah, well, yeah, super weird. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, that finding, was a weird one. It's like finding out Frank Thierry speaks French. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all of a sudden, Frank Cheer yeah, becomes a gentleman yeah. somehow, uh, magically. Huh? That, it's, it still sounds like Frank, though. It's just yeah. Yeah. true. No, I'm not buying it. I'll have to hear that to believe oh, it. It's, oh, it's funny. Uh, wee wee. Oui. You know what you got? All kidding aside, aside, you know what this show needs? You need canned Frank Thierry responses where you can just hit a button. Yeah, all X rated. Your mother. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, your mother. Your mother. Yeah. You want a classy comeback? Your mother. Throw it on the no, floor. We, we have a full episode of that. We could just uh, <laughs> you know, cut and paste. Yeah, he went through yeah, ransack Joe's go. house. Um, that was a disaster. It was. It was like Tim. It was. Like, he, he came to record to, to do the stream from my house. It was literally <laughs> as if I'd gone to the Bronx Zoo. I just picked up a wild animal, <laughs> put it in a cage, and just let it free in my home. And, yeah, and that's just. <laughs> That's just Frank being Frank. He's not like being specifically like I'm going to be awful. He's no. just that's how he is. Yeah, it, it yeah. was unbelievable. I mean, my 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 kitchen was a disaster. There was stuff on the kitchen <laughs> and then three days to, to scrape it off. I, I thought it was. <laughs> I don't know what it was. He destroyed my my uh, my my uh, my Gmail account. It no longer works. It, it destroyed your Gmail. It, 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 I don't think on purpose either, Tim. No, he doesn't he, do it on he, purpose. He changed the password. And and he he changed my Gmail account to Frank Thierry, although it's it, it's it's my it's anyway I, I can't even explain. He changed my password, uh, the whole thing. He's like, I oh, know I didn't. I'm like Frank, I can't get into my Gmail. What's your password? <laughs> he gives me his password. I get into my Gmail. Like, so, I forgot. Huh. I, I listen. I, I was I was surprised he remembered his own password. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so I'm still surprised he can use the computer. <laughs> it's like two. It's like two. No, it's, it's four letters. No, it's password. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 fucking well, password. Sixty nine twenty four seven. Well, let's wrap up. Um, let's let's wrap it up. Um, in Saran wrap. In Saran wrap. Let's in do Saran, saran wrap. wrap on this. Tell us, uh, tell us, Dan. What is what is the meaning of Saran wrap? For me, Dan? it yeah. For me, it was it's very for meaningful. You? Yeah. yeah. Was it a loss of innocence, Dan? Big time. <laughs> for the Saran wrap. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, for the saran wrap. The saran wrap's never the same. You don't recycle saran wrap that's been through no, that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Clear. It's directly to the trash. <laughs> Ideally burned. <laughs> um, all right, Tim, are you glad you joined our classy uh, I, live stream? I am oddly pleased. I'm oddly pleased, and I even more oddly hope I get invited back. You uh, will. So somebody asked like, if they sent in some pencils, would, would you ink it online? No, absolutely. Okay, not. well that answers that. Yeah. Tim, you see this? You see this middle Ooh. square? This could be I you. do. Could you could be right there. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. So Tim, <laughs> never contact him on Twitter if you no. help Just yourself. Instagram, Instagram, and Facebook. By the way, yes. Tim, we did have some people saying that they do miss you on social. Well, yeah. Hold on, Dave. <laughs> they do. They do. I don't, but, but they do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is this is degenerated into madness. Stop. All right, gentlemen. <laughs> All, All right, guys. Thanks, Toodle everybody. everybody. Good to All right. Thanks, thanks Good again, Tim. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for the Right here, right here. Right. 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 <laughs> Take care, guys. Later, boys. Thanks, Tim.